Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. I know you were curious and waiting for the next video, and here it is. As you all know, Linksjs was open source on March 5, 2025. I'm excited to share that I have started contributing to Linksjs after thoroughly exploring the documentation. I discovered some bugs and felt eager to become a small part of the Linksjs contributors community. By the way, that's the reason I got led to upload videos. So in this video I'll break down some of the core features, unique aspects, small intro about cross platform development, advantages of Linksjs and application that are built upon the Linksjs and what you should know before starting development in Linksjs. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are the core features of the Linksjs? Linksjs is a powerhouse of advanced features. First is markup and CSS for native UIs. You can use HTML like markup and CSS to create native UIs, leveraging the modern CSS features like gradients, transitions, and masking. These features are uh, accessible to developers uh, coming from web backgrounds. Next is instant first time rendering. With IFR, Links ensures a seamless user experience by eliminating blank screens during app launches. It momentarily blocks the main thread to render the first frame completely. Third is main thread scripting (MTS). This feature prioritizes high priority UI tasks such as handling users' gestures, keeping the application highly responsive and smooth. And rust based tool chain i like this the most by using rust for its compilation process links offers both memory safety and speed significantly reducing build times and improving run time performance so what makes the links js unique what set links js apart it is architectural advancement dual threaded ui programming it intelligently splits scripting into a main thread runtime for essential task and a background runtime for a secondary scripting ensuring low workload and smooth user experience now next is prim engine prim js engine this custom javascript engine is optimized for ui tasks like handling high priority events and initial rendering prim js is uh, not fully custom built it is built upon the quicks js quick js and next is framework neutrality whether you are using react links or another library links adapt seamlessly to your project seeds needs next consistent performance links delivers fast native like experiences on all supported platforms making it an excellent choice for cross platform development now we will see introduction to cross platform development a uh, cross platform development is essential for building applications that run efficiently across multiple environment using a single code base traditionally developers used approaches like web view which struggled with delivering native like performance linkjs solves these challenges by combining the flexibility of web development with the power of native capabilities This approach reduces redundancy, accelerates project timelines and ensures scalability, making links a boon for modern developers. Now, we'll see the advantages of links JS. Links JS offer distinct advantages over other solution. Shared code base built on and deployed across multiple platforms, minimizing development time and effort. Next is faster performance. Features like IFR and MTS ensures rapid launches and smooth user experience. Scalability. From lightweight components to large scale apps like TikTok, links can handle diverse workloads. Flexibility. Its open source model allows developers to customize it accordingly to their needs, fostering collaboration within the community. Next we will see real world application of links js some of the application that are using word wide which are built upon links js first is tiktok tiktok search panel a lightweight feature built for frequent use cases delivering speed and reliability or uh, 
also tiktok studio app that for professional content creation it's a bulky app but even if it's bulky it's handling the huge workload of user now next is e-commerce storefronts tiktok shop uses links to ensure secure scalable and consistent performance next interactive events from disney 100 to the met gala links powers visually engaging and interactive experiences showing its versatility across industries now at last we will see the prerequisites before starting development into Links.js. So you should be familiar with JavaScript. It's required. HTML and CSS for web development. Uh, and uh, knowledge of front-end frameworks like Re React, Angular or Vue.js. It's not necessary. You can learn it directly. But it's great to have knowledge some knowledge of react angular or vue.js or any other framework that is built upon javascript and uh, third is install node.js and a package manager npm or yarn you can use burn as well you can use pm pn pnpm i mostly prefer burn because it's most fast and um, set up the modern id such as visual studio code there are so many ids but i usually prefer VS code yeah so stay connected subscribe and press bell icon that's it for today we have covered the foundational concepts of links JS its unique features and real world use cases in the next video we will deep deeper into more aspects of links JS and gradually we will start coding in it for more, visit the official documentation of the Links.js at links.js.org. So thank you for today. See you in the next episode. Thank you so much. As I said, I have officially started contributing to the open source code base of Links.js. If you are curious about how I got started and how you can do the same, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a short video explaining everything. Bye-bye.